Hi, my name is Ashley Pereira and I'm a junior in Ferris High School. We are part of the Ferris students who achieved the CEO by letter C this school year 2022. And we thank the teachers and administrators who supported and facilitated this initiative. Congratulations to all. Hola, me llamo Luisa Buitrago, soy junior en Ferris High School y el próximo año me gustaría a invitar a mis compañeros de último año a que participen en la prueba AAPPL que se ofrece en 14 idiomas diferentes, uno de ellos siendo el español. ¿De qué manera beneficiará a los estudiantes esta prueba? 1. Proporciona medios acreditados a nivel nacional para demostrar habilidades lingüísticas a las universidades con el fin de recibir créditos académicos. 2. Proporciona acreditación a nivel nacional de habilidades lingüísticas y alfabetización bilingüe a posibles empleadores. 3. Impulsa el estudio, el estudio de idiomas, el desarrollo de habilidades y competencias globales del siglo XXI. Bonjour, je m'appelle Leifa Traoré et je suis élève ici à Ferris High School et je suis en 12 L'année prochaine, nous aimerions que les seniors participent au test AAPPL qui est proposé en 14 langues différentes. Comment cela profitera-t-il aux étudiants? Ça fournit des moyens accrédités au niveau national pour démontrer les compétences linguistiques aux universités dans le but de recevoir des crédits académiques. Deuxième, ça fournit une preuve accréditée au niveau national des compétences linguistiques et de bi-alphabétisation aux employeurs potentiels. La troisième, ça encourage l'étude des langues et le développement des compétences du 21e siècle et la compétence globale. Je suis Mohamed Atiyah, je suis junior de Ferris High School. Je suis venu à l'école de l'école de l'école de l'AAPPL et de l'école de بيتقدم ببعض الشغلات المختلفة. الامتحان ده هيساعدك في التقديم للجامعات وهيزود من مهارتك وهيخلي فرص العمل عندك أكتر. أهو بعشر كاتنين بس كاسات تت أت استبوهون جونيور سافيرس هاي سكول. سوسولو نتاون غستو نامي سومالي أم معا نقاط أس أنتاس نغرادو سا إي إي بي بي إل تاس نينا ألو سلبين أبات نيبان إبات لينغو. فأنا ما كي كنا بان ديتو أم معا نغارا. Una sa lahat, nagbibigay ito ng pampansang akreditong paraan na nagpapatunay at nagpapakita sa mga universidad ang kasanayan ng isang tao sa isang lingwayo. Pangalawa, nagbibigay ito ng pampansang akreditong patunay na mahusay ang isang tao sa pagsasalita ng dalawang wika. Panghuli, hinihikayat nito ang pag-aaral ng mga wika at ang pagbuo ng mga kasanayan sa ikadalawang pot isang siglo at pandaigdigang kakayaan. Assalamu alaikum, may lang number dahil may first high school, may junior room. Maglasal ham chate hain, seniors AAPPL test may hisal hain, jo chodha mukhtu zabana mein pesh kiya chata hain. اس سے طلبہ کو کیا فائدہ حاصل ہو سکتا ہے؟ نمبر ایک یونیورسٹی میں اپنے زبانوں کے مہارتوں کے ذرائع فراہم کر کے تعلیمی کریڈیٹس حاصل کر سکتے ہیں نمبر دو اجروں کو اپنے بولی جانے والے زبانوں کے مہارتیں دکھا کر آپ اس بات کا ثبوت حاصل کر سکتے ہیں کہ آپ اپنے بولی جانے والے زبان میں مہارت رکھتے ہیں نمبر تین اپنے بولی جانے والے زبانوں کا مطالق اور اکیسویں صدی کے مہارتوں اور عالمی قابلیت کی ترقی کو حوصلہ افض
Jersey City is in the midst of a cultural shift. The Ferris High School students' population proudly represents 30 plus countries from around the world. As part of our educational goal, we aim to embrace and promote diversity. Our students at Ferris play an essential role in this discussion. So, hello everyone. My name is Nadei Fatuchore and I am Senegalese. I am a senior at Ferris High School and I am a former um, ESL student and I am here to talk to you guys about my experience. Good morning, my name is Ashley Pereira. I am from Dominican Republic and I'm a junior in Ferris High School and I'm an exited ESL student. Hi guys, um, my name is Mohamed Atea. I'm Egyptian, I'm a junior at Ferris High School and I'm a current ESL student. Hola, mi nombre es Manuela Monsalve, soy newcomer and freshman, estudio en Ferris High School y llevo siete meses en Estados Unidos. Um, hello girls, I'm Mrs. Karansky and I'm a Spanish teacher here at Ferris High School. Explain your experience of coming to America for the first time. Well, when I first arrived to the United States, I was like really young. I was six years old, almost seven. And it was a very different experience because I wasn't used to the language, the culture. I was leaving also family behind in my country. It was hard for me, but I got through it. When I first arrived here, it was, it was hard because the culture, it was like, there's like, like a lot of differences between like Egyptian culture and US culture. And for the school, it was hard because I didn't have friends. They were like talking language, I don't even understand them that much. Yeah, it was hard. So for me, I came here when I was like five years old. And I can say that it was a very challenging coming to a new country. First, when you don't know how people are, how people are gonna treat you. And when I came here, like the first day, I was already getting bullied and stuff like that. So coming to a new country, not speaking the language, it was very challenging, it was very difficult. Mi experiencia ha sido muy bien hasta ahora. He aprendido mucho sobre culturas diferentes en este país. Me ha parecido que reciben a las personas muy cálidamente. Te hacen sentir como que te puedes hacer parte de este hermoso lugar y no te hacen sentir como que estás en otro lugar. O sea, te hacen sentir cómodo. Al principio pensé que no iba a haber ni un latino, pero cuando llegué aquí me sorprendí porque en realidad hay muchos latinos y te encuentras personas de tu país y es como muy bonito porque es como, ay, guau, wow, estamos en otro país, pero aún así puedes ver personas que te hacen recordar tu hogar. What is the biggest misconception about ESL students? So, for me, the biggest misconception is that people think you are dumb and you are slow. For me, that's the biggest misconception and um, it's not actually the case. Like, for me, I speak five languages so to have to process the languages that I speak to English it is very difficult first of all I have to understand it to the first language I, I speak really well and then after try to get to understand it in English which is very difficult so it's not that I'm slow it's the fact that I'm trying to process what you're saying I'm trying to process what I'm reading so a lot of people think of ASL students as people who are different when they actually isn't, they just have their own way of understanding things and their own way of, you know, expressing what they have to say or expressing how they feel, basically. Woo! That was great! <laughs> and they also think that, and they also think that they are old fashioned as well. They also think that they're old fashioned when it's not that, like, they have their own cultures, they have their own way of speaking, they have their own way, like, they have their own culture, basically, and, you know, Coming here is not easy to just be like the people here, to wear the same clothes that they're wearing. They have their own cultures, basically, so they think that they're old-fashioned when they're not. They're trying to adapt, they're trying their best, so, yeah. That's nice. That's okay. so nice. How would your old self feel about this new experience? <laughs> okay, so my old self would be really proud because, like I said before, there's always, there's always going to be that one person that always has something to say. So I would just be really proud of myself and to see like the way I express myself in English now and the way I can have a conversation with somebody, my little self would be very happy and just like very accomplished that I, I am here where I am today. Yeah, as well, my old, my old self would be very proud of the person that I am today and where speaking a lot of languages and uh, what I have learned throughout the process also. So I never thought that I would 
I would have been the person I am today. I never thought that I would have been able to accomplish all that I accomplished today and speak like English like that. So I never thought that. So it would be very proud of me and everything that I achieved and everything that I learned throughout the process as well. Same, my, my, old, um, my younger self will be proud because I never thought I was gonna speak English very well and read it and write it. Because when I was young, I didn't really like English when I used to learn it in Egypt. So I never thought I'm gonna speak to someone like in like English and say a whole conversation in English. I think my my younger self will be super happy and um, proud. Yeah, very proud because in the beginning it's like it seems like an impossible um, dream or goal uh, when you come here and you don't know anything about not only the language but the culture as well. It's very difficult to imagine or see yourself in the future being able to hold a conversation like this, like we're, we're having one right now, and being fluent in a language that uh, is so foreign to you and it's still foreign to me. So I think that my younger self was, will definitely be um, happy and kind of like relief, right? Because <laughs> yes, I can actually communicate now, when it was so frustrating sometimes to actually be able to uh, to say what I, I needed to say at the at, in certain moments to to people who didn't speak um, who didn't speak um, Spanish. How have you changed as a teenager since coming to this country? Yeah, like before, I would just wear ballerines and like sandals and all that. Now I'm wearing Air Jordans. Now I'm wearing. <laughs> now I'm like you know I look I look good now. I'm wearing <laughs> Long braids before I used to have braids that were yes. over here. I used to have beads and all that. Now I'm wearing long braids. And, I, and now I look dope. So now, <laughs> now I'm wearing Warby Parker. Yeah. So that's definitely changed. Ashley, how does it feel to so now know more English than Spanish? Oh my god, why well, do you have to say that? <laughs> it's a struggle. Because like in my house I also speak English a lot and in the school I also speak a lot of English. But thank God this year I like got more Spanish speaker friends. <laughs> but um, it's hard because when you talk to your family, you're just like, uh, uh, like you're just struggling. But then it's like, I obviously know my foreign language, but then I feel like when you know t more than two languages, it's like your brain just like freezes sometimes. Like I was walking one day and I look at the moon and I go, Mommy, look at the moon now. Yeah. Instead of saying moon or luna, I go, Moon. So it's like, it's a struggle sometimes. But, you know, the both languages are still there. <laughs> Wuhan, do you still know how to read and write in Arabic? Um, read, of course, but like, write is not that good. Like, oh, okay. I don't know how to make sentences. It'd be like, it'd be the worst sentence. But what do you speak in your house? I speak Arabic, but oh, like, Arabic? yeah, but sometimes like when I try to read, like I write a sentence in Arabic for my dad or my mom, it'd be hard. Like, I write like so many stupid stuff and, yeah, and my that, mom and my only dad they always like correct me they always say like what you writing yes yeah, so. now that you've been here how do you feel going back it feels like you're in, like it's a foreign country like it feels like it's home but then again it's like i'm not supposed to be here in a way like there's a good feeling like oh my god i'm in my country i like, feel so good and then when you leave it's like depression <laughs> but, but um it just feels like you're like foreign country and then, like when you see your cousins you're just like oh my god i haven't seen in such a long time like i'm the gringa now like <laughs> so that's how i be feeling but it, it's a good feeling when i go back to my country yeah i'll be feeling like a whole star i'll be coming in <laughs> i'm speaking english i'm just seeing, i'm ju i'm just in a different way you know i'm i'm yeah it will be feeling different i'm trying all, i'm making all these food i'll be feeling different i'll be feeling like a whole I'm star Rihanna, i be feeling like beyond <laughs> just walk in i be like put some respect on me and all that i be throw my hair i be like it be it be it be cool i be feeling like a whole star i feel like a whole star i be feeling like a whole star and i don't even want to speak my language no more i'm like i'm like oh excuse I'm, me excuse me <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I like no, this speaking with my phone and everything like that. I be having a phone that like not many people haven't had yet. So it be like I be flexing a lot. Well, watching this video, please stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. Stay humble. Because whatever, whatever God gives, He can take away. So stay humble. <laughs> that one. But it's okay. So that one. To flex. Don't forget where you're from. Okay? Keep your cultures. Don't forget where you're from. Thank you for watching and remember to always be proud of who you are and where you come from.
I Am Diversity by Charles Benefil. I'm present in every place you go, depending on your lens, I'm friend or foe. I'm a first to be reckoned with, like the winds of change I move, I'm swift. I'm present when two or more are together, if embraced, I can make the good even better. I'm not limited to age, gender, or race. I'm invisible at time and yet all over the place. Don't exclude me due to a lack of knowledge. Welcome me like the recruit fresh out of college. Let me take my seat at the table, even though I may be differently able. My experience, my passion, the authentic me can help add value for your company. Learn about me, improve my own representation, and I can provide a competitive edge to your entire nation. I exclude no one. I'm strengthened by all. My name is Diversity and yes, I stand tall. Recognize me and kick me in the midst. Together, there's no problem that we can fix. I am your best hope towards true innovation, and to many, I reflect hope and inspiration. Your life, your companies will continue to change. Thus, the need for diversity and inclusion will also remain. Do all that you can to truly embrace me and experience life fullness thoroughly. I'm the thought lurking behind the unfamiliar face. I'm the ingenuity that helps your team win the race. I'm the solution that came from the odd question that was asked. I stand out in the crowd when I, diversity, am allowed to be unmasked. I'm diversity, embrace me and we'll journey far. I'm diversity, include me and we'll reach the shiny star. Coupled with inclusion, our lights burn longer. Together we're smarter, better and stronger. I'm diversity, just yes, ask me. In celebration of Women's Month, the Latinx Club Girls hosted a henna tattoo design session for all the lady bulldogs. Henna symbolizes good health and prosperity for women. Students and faculty enjoy a time of relaxation while learning about the culture and history of the henna tradition. Henna is a dye prepared from a plant also known as the henna tree. It's mainly used in celebration of special occasions such as weddings and birthdays. In some cultures, they believe the darker the henna stain, the deeper the love between two individuals. The henna application process serves as a time to socialize and spend quality time with your family and friends. This occasion of our Women's Month celebration provided a perfect opportunity to learn more about the process. The henna paste is made by mixing the plant powder with water and letting it set overnight. Then you simply use the paint to draw the design on the skin as if you were decorating a cake. Allow the drawing to dry, then rinse off. Thank you to everyone who came to support and a special thank you to the girls making the designs, Warda, Maria, Safa, and Anissa. Hope you enjoyed this video and be on the lookout for the next Latin Club activity. Hasta luego!